Merry meet, Annie here. Do you ever think of autumn as a season of passion? Our minds tend to think of other times of the year as the passionate times, uh, like Beltane. <laughs> Who doesn't love Beltane? I was inspired to consider passion in the season of autumn by a poem I read in a collection of nature poetry entitled Poetry for the Earth. I'll share that poem at the end of this reflection. Passion in the season of autumn is more about what burns inside of us. It's not the physical dance that's part of the blossoming seasons of the year, but it can certainly lead to that. It is what ignites within us that leads us to any form of self-expression and creativity the fire inside us in the season of water. It's the passion that connects us to other things. That's the power of the season of water after all. But it's what within us is the connection to what is outside of us and sometimes most especially to what we give birth to and create. Now, this passion can be an interesting and fun one to explore. As I've mentioned in previous blogs on this season, now, this season is gloriously all about us. Now, we're not separated from others, but it's the season of seeing each thing from our internal and personal viewpoint, which can lead to some pretty awesome acts of creation and celebration. We can begin to explore what this might mean for us by considering what we feel passionate about, what moves us and what inspires us. Fire and water. What a powerful and magical combination. As I record this, I am definitely experiencing a fire in autumn kind of day. The world is a glow. <laughs> I cannot help but feel inspired. And then I read or reread Len Ree Peters' poem. I bought the book in the early 90s and the poem has been part of my meditations for this time of year ever since. I just had to share it with you. It's entitled, Autumn Burns Me. Autumn burns me with primeval fire, makes my skin taut with expectation, hunts me out of summer fatigue onto a bridge of sighs. Somewhere I feel the heart of the earth pumping and down below it bleeds in a million ripples. I drop a sweet memory into the flow and the cascading grips me with fascination. Great trees in transit fall, are made naked in languor of shame, solitary like actors on a stage, like stars, orphans, celebrities, politicians, uncomfortably mysterious like you and me. But I will not mourn the sadness I will go dead leaf gathering for the fire in the slice of the sunlight to fill my lungs with odors of decay and my eyes with mellowed rainbow colors. I will go creeping down tasseled lattice tree avenues of light and listen to squirrel tantrums, punctuate the orchestration of autumn silence and hold in my hand the coiling stuff of nature. Then I will love, yes, love, extravagantly under the flutter of dying leaves and in a shadow of mist in wonder, for autumn is wonder and wonder is hope. Isn't that an awesome poem? Would you have expected such passion to be captured in this season. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do, and 
that you might consider autumn in a new way, a landscape of wonder and hope. I wish you mirth and reverence in the season of Samhain. Merry part.